Hi, I'm Janae Meadows of JanaeMeadows.com and today I'm going to give you a little slice of life with the slice tool in Illustrator. The slice tool is down near your paint palette, the very bottom of the tool panel and you see Shift K will bring it up, but I'm going to tear it off. A little tear sheet here. And you've got him, the slice tool, and next to it you've got the slice select tool. So, I've got the Mahalo logo and I've got my scalpel ready and if I just click and I drag, you'll see what happens is it's cut my whole artboard into many a slice just based off of that one cut. And this is going to be good so if you want to, if you've got a graphic that's kind of heavy and you want to be able to load it up faster on the internet or you've designed a web page and you've got uh, your menu up top and you've got your images down below and you want to cut the menu out and cut it away from the images. Let me show you what I mean. Let's just go up to File, Save for the Web. And now you see you've got your images broken into these separate slices and I have the option of saving like that MA as a GIF and if I want to save the hollow as a JPEG, I can do that by going over to the presets and click JPEG. And now, this one's a transparent uh, GIF and this one's a JPEG. And then I can just uh, click save and I can actually save the whole thing as the HTML web page or just images only. So another cool thing about this slices is, uh, let's say this is a web page and I want when you click on the M to be able to go to mahalo.com. So click on your slice with your slice selector tool, done, go up to object, go down to slice, and then go to your slice options. New panels brought up and call this mahalo and the web page I want to go to is mahalo.com and just click OK. Now when I go up to File, Save for the Web and export that all as a HTML page, that will actually be clickable and you don't even have to know how to be a web person. Easy as pie. Well I hope you learned a thing or two about uh, slicing and dicing in Illustrator. If you got, uh, if you got some time, check out JanaeMeadows.com and check out some of my other tutorials.